This clip was made possible thanks to Arcane Wonders. More about them after the clip. Hey, it's Chris from Charity Board Gamer, and it is Deep Thoughts Friday. Today's topic, how I got back into board games. Um, back when I was in high school, I would play Monopoly like crazy. I would loved Risk. Clue was wild. Um, and I loved, I loved playing games. I had a great time. And there was even times where like Saturday mornings with my buddies, we would be up in my barn. No, it is not one of those normal barns. It's more like a place where we have our tractors and, and things of that nature. No, no cows or chickens in this one. But we'd be, we'd be up in the barn and we'd be playing Monopoly for hours. Of course, house rules, free parking gets you all that tax and all the money that goes in the middle. Completely the wrong rules, but that's, that's how we played. But we had a blast. And then college kind of came. And when I was playing uh, in college, I was playing video games or I was busy working. I was in college just trying to basically make it through. Um, you know, it, it, was, it was what it was. I didn't really do much other than that. Uh, you know, I was busy with music, busy with education. Um, just everything I could possibly do with college was college. There was nothing else. And then I got married. I uh, was working hard, keeping busy, and it wasn't until I was about 36, so this was 2018. In 2018, it was around March, and our family was invited to a family game night. And I was like, okay, cool. Not interested. I mean, I, I was busy with other stuff. I, if it wasn't music, it was video games. If it wasn't video games, it was time with the family. Um, and I just, I had no interest and doing board games. I'm like, well, why, why do it? But I went uh, hesitantly and reluctantly and just kind of was like, eh, uh, it'll be like a one and done thing. So I'll just go, it's, you know, it's a church function. I'll just go and be done. So I went and I experienced one of my favorite games, uh, One Night Ultimate Werewolf. And I had a blast playing that, it was a great time getting the chance to just kind of uh, play that with my kids. I also got to experience the real werewolf, which uh, I remember being growing up in high school and stuff playing Mafia, which was a lot of fun, very similar in the style to, to werewolf. And I enjoyed that. Well, the next game I got the chance to learn was a game called Pandemic. Now, Growing up, I, I'd been playing a lot of competitive games, and that was basically my thing. I was mainly learning that. I did not know that there was even such a thing as cooperative games. I mean, I've been playing some games with the kids, like Hi-Ho Cheerio, a little bit of Risk here or there, like Lord of the Rings Risk, you know, the good stuff. Um, but never a cooperative game. And so here we are, instead of playing against each other, we're playing with each other. And that made such a difference for me. Um, I was ultra competitive when I was in high school. Uh, I was still very competitive uh, in, in college with video games and stuff like that. Um, and this was one of those things where it's like, okay, I can't be that. I cannot be the competitive person that I was uh, with games. And it, it, took, it took me back a little bit. I, I had to learn, okay, this is not, this is not me anymore. So, you know, playing Pandemic for my first time was a game that truly gave me an experience that was worth worth the time, uh, and I loved it. Um, and, and because of it, the, the hobby grew for me. I went to my first convention later that June or July, and I went to a thing that's a local convention called Shark on here, um, bought my first board game for 25 bucks. I thought that was expensive for, for a board game. Now I realize there's a lot of higher priced games that are out there. I didn't even know how high priced Pandemic was until, until I bought a copy, I think. Um, oh no, I, I did a trade for that one. Uh, but yeah, like I, I played a game and, and enjoyed it. And I had a lot of fun. I went to, I got my first experience of Blood on the Clock Tower. Evan from, uh, from uh, the Blood on the Clock Tower actually was teaching it. Got a chance to play some Werewolf with some friends. Uh, played in a Catan tournament. Did not know that Catan base was 
as boring as it was, considering I had played Catan, my first experience with Catan was playing it with seafarers and um, barbarians and cities and knights. And I've been playing these three and a half hour games with my friends and stuff and I'm playing, playing that and Dead of Winter and all that. And I'll tell you what, it was a lot of fun playing these games. So I, I, wa I wanna know, put it in the comments below. Let me know what games did you enjoy playing? What games were you really getting into? What got you back into the hobby? Maybe what games were you playing? Were you always a gamer? Did you leave the hobby at any point in time? Was there one particular game that said, okay, you're back in? Or are you looking for maybe ways to bring your friends back in? Or maybe bring them in for the first time? Let me know in the comments. I'd love to read them and love to respond to them. So I hope you have an awesome Friday. Thanks for being here for Deep Thoughts Friday. I'll see you. I hope you have a great weekend. Remember, if we can gather at the table, we can do the same for a good cause. Bye. Do you have problems sometimes taking photos? Okay, there we go. There's a smile. I mean, with my kids, yeah, we do. But it's a lot easier when we're playing Picture Perfect from Arcane Wonders, a game that we highly recommend and is in stores now, or you can go ahead and order straight from their website, link down below. Hey, thanks for watching our video. If you like what you saw here, go ahead and hit that little like, subscribe, that little, the little bell thingamabobberobber, you know the thing, and uh, watch some of our videos. Maybe one that's uh, maybe up here, or maybe down there, or over there, or down there. I don't know where they are, but thank you all. Remember, when we can gather at the table, we can do the same for a good cause. Bye. Bye.